Huh? What are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Ogreboy and I'm going to be doing my review for the 1975 movie Rooster Cogburn. So, in this movie, a band of drunken thugs overruns a small town and kills Minister Goodnight and uh, assaults their women and everything and Eula Goodnight, the daughter of Minister Goodnight, enlists the aid of Marshal Rooster Cogburn to hunt them down and bring her father's killers to justice. Um, this movie is pretty good. It, it's a pretty much a sequel to True Grit. Uh, John Wayne is once again playing Rooster Cogburn from that first movie, and um, that, that's really the main connection between the two movies. Is it more of a continuation of his story, I guess? Um, but uh, it, it does kind of follow a lot of the same beats as the original True Grit and it even kind of throws in some of the beats from the movie The African Queen. It's kind of like if the True Grit and The African Queen had a baby they would have produced this movie. Um, but it, it's a lot of fun and I, I gotta say Catherine Hepburn who plays Eula Goodnight is really good and here her chemistry between with her and uh, John Wayne is just between the two of them is great. Um, they work really good together. And the villains are pretty good too. They're they're not as good as Ned Pepper and Tom Chaney from the the first movie, but the, they're still decent enough villains. Although I don't really remember any of their names like I do, did Tom Chaney and Ned Pepper. Um, but they're they're still pretty cool, um, cool villains and everything. There's a really f some really good moments in here, especially the big shootout scene at the end when they're on the river raft. It's just a lot of fun. Um, and everything uh it's just a really really good movie um but the, the i will say it's not quite as strong as the original true grit it doesn't have quite as have that that good emotional punch as that, that first one did the chemistry and stuff in here between the cast is good and everything but i feel like the first one had a better cast and everything but it's still pretty good in here and there are some things in this movie that were uh were I guess present in the novel that weren't in the original movie that they added to the second one like the scene with him shooting the cornbread and stuff um, wasn't in in the original movie and everything if it wasn't they just use it in the if it's not in the novel they just use it in the remake of True Grit 2 I think they just it was part of the novel though um, that wasn't in there I thought that was kind of cool that it was in there and I enjoyed this movie for the most part like I said it, it's a lot of fun uh, John Wayne just stepped back in his role like he never left it. He was once again great as Rooster Cogburn and everything, and it just it works. Uh, it heavily relies on the chemistry between the two leads, but uh, they're so much fun together that you kind of kind of can just enjoy the movie for what it is, a, a good time and everything. Um, so I think this is a pretty solid sequel. It's not necessarily one of the, the most necessary sequels ever. There's not really. A good reason for this movie to exist but I'm still glad that it does it's a good sequel and it was one that I didn't grow up with like I did the original True Grit I didn't even know this movie existed till I was in my late teens or early 20s um, I happened to find out that there was a sequel to it and I was like my grandpa never told me about this movie so either he didn't like it he saw it and didn't like it and just never told me about it or he didn't know about it I have no idea which one it is it's one of those things that uh, that I wish I could ask him, but I can't because he's no longer here. But uh, I absolutely love True Grit. I think it's a really good movie, and I think Brewster Cogburn has a really good sequel to it. So um, I think they're both a pretty good double feature to watch together and everything. Although this one isn't sent quite as on the same level as the original True Grit, though. Like I said, it, it, it copies a lot of the same beats as that one, kind of like Home Alone 2, except where I felt like Home Alone 2 did everything better in the second one. Um, this one it just isn't quite as good as the first one it, it, it doesn't quite recapture the magic but it's still a good one so I'd give Rooster Cogburn an 8 out of 10 so anyway let me know in the comments what you think of this movie I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day everybody